Hey guys, my name is Kimberly and today I'm with Changing Tides and we are doing a video of an art tutorial. And so today's art video will be about a type of art called stippling and I'll show you guys how to do a really simple stippling drawing. And what stippling is, it's using a pen in order to um, make dots which create lines and shadows and with that you end up making a big picture. So this is kind of an example of one that I've done before. It's of Spirited Away. I really like that movie. And today, I thought I would show you guys how to do a really simple one. And I decided that the picture we're going to draw is of these two cute Animal Crossing um, raccoon tanuki characters. Um, Changing Tides is a mental health organization and I know Animal Crossing has also been kind of associated with being very positive on that aspect as well. So I thought doing these two cute guys would be perfect for today's tutorial. So yeah, um, I'll show you how to turn this into one of these. So let's get started. Okay, so you need a black and white image, a piece of paper, and then you also need a ruler, a pencil or mechanical pencil, a pen, and then lastly, you'll need an eraser. First, we are going to start with graphing out how we want the picture to look on our paper. So I have my picture that I want to draw and transfer into a stippling art, and I have my piece of paper. And as you can see, there's grid lines on here. So I have grid lines here, and I also have grid lines on my regular paper that has the picture as well. So what is the purpose of this? It's basically to be able to transfer it exactly how it looks from this paper to this paper. You want the proportions to be even, you want to make sure you're coloring the right shadows where they're supposed to be, so that's what we did. And what I did is I got a ruler, so you're just gonna take your ruler, and I measured out basically squares. I just made the whole thing into squares. So the easy way I did this for my paper, everyone's size is different, is I did mine by every two centimeters. Two centimeters, two centimeters, two centimeters, and then long ways also two centimeters, two centimeters, two centimeters. And this part ended up not being a full two centimeters, which is okay, as long as you get the boxes around the picture that you want to dot. So after I did that, I drew with my pencil even squares, and those same squares of the same dimensions I put on my paper as well. So actually you can see down here. Yes, um, ignore this, this is just so you guys can see the video of the paper. Um, so that, now that I have that on there, it's gonna help me be able to draw square for square and exactly how I want my Tommy piece, my Timmy and Tommy to look. So yeah, we're going to do that. So basically, the way that this grid works is, so for example, if I, the ear is in this square, the other ears in this square. So I look at the squares corresponding to my paper and I go, oh, okay, this square is this ear, this square is this ear, and I draw from there. So that's what we're going to do now. So yeah, I'll start kind of sketching basically. Okay, so now that I've drawn my two little raccoons on here, as you can see, they look pretty similar to me. Yeah. So now we're going to do a lot of the shading. So grab your pen, any type of pen is okay. Um, I like to use a 0 0.5, 0 0.3 is even better if you have it. And what we're going to do is you're going to look at the picture that you have. So this one, and you're going to First, usually dot an outline. I like to do that, it's easy. And then after that, you go from the inside and the darker parts, you make lots of dots around those to make them darker and make it look like a shadow. The lighter parts, you can dot, but uh, for example, white, you just wouldn't dot in that area. Black, so these parts, I would dot a lot and make sure they're really, really close together so it looks almost pitch black. So yeah, white probably here, I'm not going to dot, and then the black parts will dot everything. As if you could see the flag and maybe some of the body part areas are kind of in the gray area. So 
in those cases you kind of want to do it in between but yeah I'll show you I'll do an ear one of the ears and I'll show you guys an example of how it looks and then yeah you can just continue to do the rest so let's do the ear first so I'll be doing this one so I'll just trace kind of on the line and I think you can't see yeah so it's dot 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 lots of small dots So you want to try and make the dots as straight as possible and you want to make them as close to your drawing lines as possible. If they connect and they accidentally make an actual line, don't worry about it. Um, it's just the end result will look cool anyways. So yeah, just like that, um, we have a dotted line as you can see. And now I'm going to do the inner part of the ear and draw that line as well. And we're going to do the same thing. You can see this kind of takes a while, but if you have a simple picture like this, it's pretty easy. So now I'm going to start shading. So if I want to do shading, I'm going to have to the outer side part of it. So this will be our darker shadow and now We'll make the dots less close together in order to make a kind of lighter shadow that's a great color. Yes. So that will be kind of our darker part and this will be our lighter part. So we'll continue and try doing that for the rest of these little guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching my tutorial for how to do a stippling photo and this was the final outcome, the product. I think they look really cute, it turned out pretty well. My hand hurts which means I did lots of dotting and yeah, it looks pretty good to me. So if you guys would like to do your own, they're really simple to do. Um, try to do something simple at first, maybe if you're intimidated by how many dots <laughs> you need to put down. But I hope that was something that could give you guys an idea of something to do at home that doesn't require too much supplies and not too much time, maybe hand effort. But yeah, thanks for watching and don't forget to support Changing Tides. They're a really great um, organization and they have Instagram, so check that out. And they also have a website with lots of events and blogs and other things to check out. So make sure you do that as well. But yeah, thanks for watching and yeah, see you later. Bye!